Welcome back here to Fox and Friends. Well, BP's role in the Gulf oil disaster is plastered in the headlines all over the world. But now, some attention being turned to BP's relationship with Iran, which actually dates back, back decades. This isn't new news. But what's interesting is about how this is all working and how they're working with the enemy. Jim Walsh is an expert in international security, and he joins us this morning. Thanks so much for joining us on this Father's Day. Good to be with you. Thanks, Jim. So let's. I was stunned when I first heard this story. Time Magazine doing a great piece this week on it, this long relationship with, with Iran and BP dating back decades. Should we, I don't think most Americans probably know about this relationship. Should we be concerned about it? Well, yeah, it goes back all the way to the founding of BP. Originally, BP was the Persian oil firm. Uh, but are, should we be concerned about it today? The answer is yes. There are two things that Iran wants to do to be able to survive economically. It wants to get more oil out of the wells it already has, where there's declining capacity. And it wants to get at the natural gas. It's the number two or three biggest country in the world sitting on natural gas reserves. But it cannot get to it because it does not have foreign investment and technology. But what BP is doing is making joint partnerships with Iran on natural gas, which means Iran has access to BP's know-how, to its technology, and can begin to get at that gas it desperately wants. And it's going through some of the research here. It's interesting. One of those partnerships is with a company called NAFT Iran, which is really run by the central government of Iran. I mean, it's really like the cozy part of it uh, right inside. It's like the central bank uh, inside the country. And they're also a huge shareholder in BP. I was stunned to learn this, that they own, that Iran basically owns 24 million shares of BP. So, in a way, it's almost as if Iran is drilling off of the coast of the United States. Well, it's certainly surprising to see uh, that uh, Iran, the government of Iran or that company, has, uh, is a shareholder in BP. But it also provides a way to get at the problem. And that is to say, there, there can be shareholder activism. If there are other shareholders in BP, Americans, Brits, and others, who do not want Iran uh, to be doing business with BP, then they can go to those stockholder meetings and, and kick up a ruckus and try to get BP to uh, back away from doing business with Iran. I have to admit, I'm confused, Jim, because just w the, you know, the United Nations is right about to introduce new rounds of sanctions. The United States is trying to push Iran on their nuclear program to try to a new round of sanctions, trying to restrict other countries from doing business with Iran. And here they own part, they're part owner of BP and they're drilling off the shores of the United States. Something just doesn't add up here. Well, I, I, I agree with you. It's, it's, uh, it is hard, though, to stop uh, a company or a citizen from buying stock uh, if you're a public company. So it, it's a little difficult for them to regulate that. But again, company policy is determined by the board of directors and by the shareholders. And if a majority of the shareholders do not want BP to be engaged in that sort of activity, then they can stand up and do something about it. Yeah, and apparently they're not. Jim Walsh, great to have you here this morning and great insight on this story. Thanks so much. Th thank you, Clayton.